All right, this might be the last one. Electromagnetic frequencies. So anything that has a battery can emit a signal, um, electromagnetic signal. Um, the mobile data on your phone, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, any of these invisible rays which are um, coming off of the computer, you know, and whatnot, are all can all be significant, can all damage DNA and cause problems. So they can cause fatigue, headaches, brain fog, memory loss, sleep problems, depression and anxiety, chronic pain, chronic infections. Symptoms worsen when using technology. Symptoms worsen when using Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or mobile data. Symptoms worsen with proximity to power plants. So I've had clients who, you know, they'll be driving down the road and they'll start to get neuropathy in their feet which is not on this list, which should be neuropathy. They'll get like numbness and tingling in their feet or pain in their feet or in their hands. And sure enough, they round the corner and there's a big power plant. So sometimes, and these people really are the harbingers of the problems that are that are going to be, you know, amplified throughout time. You know, if we if 5G really gets rolled out throughout a lot of these communities, this is really a barrage of, it's, it's an assault on our systems um, where it's really going to be damaging our DNA, our human frame, and causing inflammation to happen and pain and dysfunction. Unfortunately, there's no laboratory test that can be done. There are some um, some things that you can use to measure, and we'll talk about that. You know, the EMF tri-field meter um, I use to determine, you know, um, how big the EMFs are, the magnetic versus the electrical fields. Um, and then in my experience, it's very likely that someone has EMF toxicity contributing to their fatigue if they have two or more of the above symptoms and one of the asterisk signs. So you can see those here. So make your determination, yay or nay. And that is it. That is the end of the ultimate assessment guide. So I hope that this has been helpful for you. Um, and so take all this data that you have collected, all of those that you have yeses on, put them up on page two, because then we will be taking that page two and we will start creating the plan that is needed, because um, that is the next step. Creating that plan to replace the deficiencies, and then we'll go on to step three to open up the detoxification pathways so that we can do step four, which is remove the toxicities. Thanks so much for being with me, and I'll see you in the next video.